Hey guys, it's Nurse Eagle, and as you can see right here, I've got a package. This is from Illinois and Ryan McNumbers. It was an auction. You might have seen it on Nerf Haven. Um, I won it. I believe it was thirty-seven ninety-three shipped. So um, twelve pounds of Nerf ish on Nerf Haven. If you want to check out the topic, uh, I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys. There's quite a few cool things in here. Oops, stuff that I've been looking to get for a while. Some miscellaneous parts and such. And, you know, I see it already. Uh, I really hope everything's in here. There we go. Put that down, and here we are. Okay. First thing I'll pull out is chain blazer. Um, there aren't any chains with it, I believe he said, and I believe, yeah, this is part of it as well. It goes on there somehow, but I'm not going to deal with that right now. Let's see what we can pull out. Um, this is a stock Dark Knight Hyperfire. Not exciting, as he said, but I like those things. Um, here we have a stock look Blue Maverick without the slide, but he said it all in working order. Everything's a little bit cold. There we go. Looks like the air restrictors are still in there, so it's stock. Um, here's a Reflex Manta. Uh, looks just like a bunch of hot glue. So. As he said, stock just pegs removed. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is something I was really interested in. He says this is a first gen night finder with uh, having CPVC coupler. Um, it also looks like there's some craft foam on the front of the plunger tube or on the plunger. Tube. Let me just put that down. You have definitely a spring addition or you know something else. Try the seal. Uh, not too good of a seal, but it's not bad. Looks like there's a ton of hot glue in there too, so I don't know if I'll be able to get this open because it looks like that's covering it all up. But I believe he did that to help the screw port right there and hold the plunger tube in. Um, I think I have a barrel in here. Yes, I do. So I'll fire this real quick. Uh, oh, and there's already a streamline in there. We'll see if oh, there's hot glue on that end. Sorry about that. I'll see if it'll vacuum load. Not really. And that's hitting my wall with some force. Not too much, but not too little. Yeah, okay, so we'll put that down. Um, here we have a uh, Nightfinder Maverick. It looks like it has CPVC barrels with some really random lengths. And I can see the Nightfinder plunger tube I believe, now that I look at it, he says that this doesn't really work, and I can see there's screws coming out, but I'll try and prime it. So it nearly primes. Um, uh, looks like there's a Nightfinder catch in there. So it almost catches, but um, I'm definitely going to be going back in and tinkering with this some. Um, might make it reloading. Oh. And he has some craft foam up there. That might be why the seal's not working too well. It's pretty tough, too. Yeah, so I'll definitely be going in with that. Um, I don't know what to pull up next. Here's another neck finder that he did. This one looked really weird to me, as you can see. But he says it has half-inch PVC and CVC coupler. And I guess this has a good seal, because you can see the X stopping the, um, you know, from vacuum loading. Um... I can see some reinforcements of the plunger tube on that side, and you can see that it's been epoxied and such, and masking tape for the half-inch PVC barrel, or half-inch PVC coupler. The key ring's not too comfortable. I've never been a fan of key ring primers on um, night fighters, but I'll try the seal if I can, because I'm not good with uh, half-inch PVC couplers. Yeah, I think I didn't cover that up enough. I'm not gonna. Hmm. 
it looks like it's a decent seal. I'm still letting it out a little bit. It's kind of hard to get that all the way closed. But I'll probably be able to open this one up. So that's good. But yeah, that looks pretty nice. It looks really slim. You don't know, pocket size. Okay. Um, one last thing before we get to the really interesting stuff is another Manta Eliminator, I believe. No, Reflex. My bad. I get those mixed up sometimes. Still no pegs, but still stock. Yeah, nothing interesting, really. But, um, okay. Next, I'll go to this. A big salvo with CPVC in the barrels. So, I don't think he's been in this. He just shoved them in there. And all four are firing. So, I'll probably keep this like it is. I might redo them, because there's some inside the barrels. I'll try and fire this real quick. Just grab four regular or random darts. Uh, first up is a uh, lantern dart. Second or third, I'm not really sure. Whistler, then a tagger, and I'll try and grab a. Let's get a whiteout streamline. And I'll pump this up like 20 times. Okay, over pressure release valve kicked in at around 15, so here I'll fire. I don't, I don't really know what happened. Firing pretty hard, but it sounds kind of weird. But um, I, I was really interested in this. So yeah. Um, I don't really know what to choose out of these. I'll just go with this first. Blue and silver pistol splat. Uh, it's got thir 17, 30 seconds just shoved in there. Wow. I've never had one of these before, so I'm kind of excited. You might not be able to tell. Alright, I'm gonna try and fire this. Uh, let's grab. Matter of fact, let's. Oh, that's a blank. Uh, one of my amateur slugs. Put that in there. Very loose, as I expected. It's pretty hard. Uh, that's nice. I like that. Okay, and the last thing. A quad shot. Oh, it looks like it's primed, I guess. Uh, these look like... Oh, and they have reloading slots on each side. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, it's not catching at the last notch. It's going up a couple. Almost got it, too. But this is pretty nice. Let me see if darts fit in here. No. So this must be 5 eighths. Uh slash three quarters polyester but I'll load it in from the back on this one if I can and 